So there's a probe currently happening in the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana. An adult committee is trying to get to the bottom of leak tapes. There's a history to leak tapes in this country. You never get the truth out of it. Whether it ends up in court, whether you actually take it to London for other people to interpret for you and bring it back to Ghana, it always ends up being problematic. Mm. But, but the attacker committee is trying to get to the bottom of the leak tape. Where some police officers are living over a fact, and some chiefs or purported chiefs or senior party officials were discussing the potentials of removing the IGP because this man, on my own, win the election. You can't break eight with him. He's, a, he's an unbreakable eight person. Mm. So you certainly need somebody. And senior police officers were telling you that they are partisan people. They, they have experience in the party. Oh, bad. I mean, how did you become so relevant to the party that you are not IGP and that he should be replaced? Mm. And they are even bold not to admit before the committee to have a party there. We are partisan in an institution that really <laughs> at all times <laughs> should be seen to treat mm. all people fairly without any favor or fear. You think about it tomorrow. Mm. So you meet a police officer thinking that this man will treat me fairly. And he is so partisan that his biggest consideration is breaking the eight and not whether or not you have human rights. So that is the crux of the engagement happening there. But after the IGP appeared, and Jesus worked. No, he worked. No, the IGP worked, not Jesus. Yeah, and the IGP worked, and proceeded to give us biographies true, true to the other things he said about his office, and a very touching story of how come we can move on constable to IGP mm. over a period of time, and the hard work that's required to be in that end. People started questioning. Like what was he saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> what is the end in sight? This whole come, tell us what you have in mind. Tell us what you have heard. Respond to idle gossip that's been described. I mean, we use idle gossip to describe the engagement. Mm -hmm. But how do COPs engage in idle gossip? <laughs> Seriously, you think about it. The guys are there. Highest level, very next step to IGP. Yeah. How can such a person engage in idle gossip? So the class of our engagement on state of play today is, is this much I do about nothing? Should we just close shop and tell the people that, listen, we started this committee. We think it's a useless venture. So get out and go and see. Do, put your time to good use and if you have run out of issues to probe we the people of this country that voted and put you in that house who are still struggling stay in the sun to go and register and vote you again we'll give you plenty we'll issues. give you alternatives to actually spend your time on that's what we want to discuss with you the people of this country today as you can see i have very formidable people with me today they, they, they are fearless yes to my right <laughs> venerable koji Yansen. Mm. Ever distinguished Elton and fearless it, official. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so my fearless officers will tell you the truth in this republic about this committee, about the idle gossip, and about the fact that we appear not to be a serious state. You look at it keenly. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., we're hearing the intricacies of idle gossip. And now they postpone it somewhere in October. So they'll continue. October 2nd. Yes, we've mm. not finished it. It's October 2nd. Mm. So we'll continue hearing more idle gossip. Now, every time that committee sits, somebody introduces a new tape. Let's not forget that. <laughs> yes. it's, 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 so, it's so strange. Even if you don't take care of me, I can sit in my bedroom, doctor the current one, and send it to the committee. Yes. Mm. They may have to determine the veracity of saying. Is there an end in sight? <laughs> <laughs> but really, look. Idle gossip is, I think, is such an apt description. But I could have told you this even before the committee was empowered. The minute I heard that Parliament was interested in setting up a committee to look into this, my first question was, ah, don't they already have a committee? Isn't there a defense uh, an interior committee yes. uh, that would be seized with such a matter? Uh, why another committee? Okay, fine. Uh, they want to make some sort of bipartisan mm. approach at looking into the matter. All right. But Nekwakra is saying, Mm. That was my first question. From the very beginning, I thought, okay, what can this thing uncover? Or what, can th what problem can this committee solve? Then we saw the terms of reference. And in this country, if somebody is going to swerve you, it's always with the terms of reference. We've seen it. I don't know if you remember um, uh, Suba. Mm -hmm. When um, you know, Manasseh exposed this uh, payment of 70-something million dollars to Suba for no work done. Yeah. And former President Mahama set up a committee to look into it. And I will never forget, the announcement was here on Newsfile in the studio across the, the, the hall. 
and it was I think Dr. Omani Buama who made the announcement that the president has uh, set up a committee to look into this matter everybody was happy they didn't read the terms of reference the terms of reference said that one they should determine whether the person who signed the super contract has the locus to do so and two they should see whether they can renegotiate the contract that's it nothing about whether they did any work for the money they were paid nothing about the 70 something million mm. so here we are yeah uh -huh. that's how they swear you this these are the terms of reference of this committee one uh, to establish the authenticity of the leaked audio recording two investigate the conspiracy to remove the current inspector general of police three investigate any other matter contained in the audio recording four recommend sanctions to persons found culpable uh, where uh, appropriate five make recommendations for reforms where necessary and six make such other recommendations and consequential orders as the committee may deem appropriate again what is the issue here when we all heard that tape and it was a long tape so i had to sit through some tortuous minutes yeah. listening to them go back and forth the, the question only, you mean is which one are you referring to the the the, the first one the first one the first one the first one we are all pretty in with one tape mm. then they introduce another one uh -huh. then they say there's a subsequent one so i'm not even sure if i'm making reference which one you are making ah, reference to. maybe you let's say the first one the one okay. that existed before the committee mm. was set up when we all listened to it there was only one issue yeah it wasn't the fact that somebody wants to be igp it wasn't the fact that he wants to replace the current IGP. These things are normal. In yeah. every workplace, somebody wants to replace you. These are not crimes. The only thing that concerned people was why he wanted to replace the IGP. Yeah. So that he could use the position to help the party that mm. he supports. Facilitated breaking. That was the problem. These terms of reference that I, I mentioned, is there anything in there about the only thing that is a problem? The only thing, the fact that it is possible for someone to seek the role of IGP in order to affect the outcome of an election. But come to think of it, before I even bring mm. you in, what could the parliamentary committee have done? Thank you. One, they can't replace the IGP. Uh, absolutely not. Two, they can't sack the police officer. Uh, not at all. Three, they can't even say that the laws of the police institution should independently be reviewed. Private members will have not been initiated. Mm. No. So, and the government has not sent any bill to them. And your so, report can even be rejected on the floor. Yes. yes. In <laughs> fact, all that is required for, even if they spend 50 years putting together a report, mm -hmm. it's for very influential people to say, the buy I'm going to go out here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just say, and then it's done. So, no matter how we look at this, see, and this is not the first time that people of this republic have set up a committee that has made far reaching recommendations on. It. In fact, that's, I think, what they can do. Mm. Far-reaching recommendation on improving the police. <laughs> if you have spent time, I can give you copies. National Reconciliation Committee. I'm, I'm taking back from just 2000. Mm. Reconciliation Committee. 14 distinct pages yeah. on reforming police. Me, I took the 14. I took the headquarters of the police. I sat a policeman down on camera. We counted only less than 10% <laughs> of the 14 pages that have been implemented. Right from 2000. 2000, 2020, 2020, 2023, more than 20 years ago. I am so West well gone. Mm. You, you say that the things that the committee said, parts were rejected. Take the white paper. There were things about the police that government admitted. Yes. Show me a single one that's been implemented today. I remember the last time we checked, the ones to do national security were the ones that, because national security was in trouble, were the ones that we were implemented. Mm. And fast forward beyond that, a draft committee, if you read carefully, how. So there is a committee that's set by the executive of this country, the guys with the ultimate power to influence change. Committee sometimes whose work sometimes can become law of this country. Mm. Um, um, and yeah. Hmm. So Raymond, we have a very big issue in this. I mean, let me start from Parliament, the the House itself. Mm -hmm. So Parliament set up this committee to do or to to establish who who did the recording and why the person did the recording. That has been established. But Parliament itself, I mean. Is this really the most important in this country that we should spend uh, man hours on, you know, getting to the bottom of it? Hundreds of people were manhandled, some beaten, some have, some is resulted in deformity for their lives at where well, Ashaman mm. by military officers. Hundreds of people. Yeah. Have you heard anything about it from Parliament apart from condemning this on the floor? And the speaker says that a committee must look into it as we speak right now. There's not be any movement whatsoever in bringing justice 
to the people who were unfairly treated by the Ghana military. Yes. Parliament has no interest in going into this. What is the interest here? Because election is involved. Mm. Yes. Election is involved. Somebody is scheming to give yeah. some a, 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 a particular political party an unfair advantage over the other. Yeah. So therefore, let's just open it to the public. Let mm. people see what people are doing mm. behind the scenes. So that somebody will be I disgraced. I get your point. Yes. Yeah, I so mean, that somebody will be disgraced. Mm -hmm. So that the whole country will know that if we lose the election, the blame should go to this person. I'm sure some people are scheming that they wanted to replace ahead of time. Exactly. And as their police officers are like some way. So if I lose the election, I can say, ah, we told you, these people, they are like yeah. that. Precisely. They are part of our problems. Precisely. But how is that in the ultimate interest of this country? The guys, the, the, the 275 human beings we are put in parliament, they are there because each constituency elected them. The people are sitting, some at Ayawa, so all over the place sitting in the sun, hoping to get registered. They are seeking among other things to go and put this in 275 with the hope that in their governance structure, they are closer to them, so they will represent their interests. Exactly. If you take this now, some call it now, Abu Gate, <laughs> plot to oust gate. Uh, in fact, I've heard the latest, no. loose talk gate. Loose talk gate. <laughs> yes. I mean, listen, if you put it all together, at the core of it, whose interest is best served by the continual use of our resources and as cars resources we should stress yeah. this is an IMF country it's a country that is waiting for a second trans because oh. it's been your motorway we can't if at, if people die on motorway people die as far as Kentapo and Co. have you seen a single committee that's been set up no to yeah. investigate the death of more than 60 of our fellow oh you want to ask them and you see that the thing that pains what pains me the most about this is that the more they work the more they actually start to do damage yeah now our IGP has come to cry yeah yeah on national television IGP, the person who is supposed to be in charge of the Ghana Police Service, yeah, yeah. a command and control institution, somebody who you have to follow, the police has to follow with the knowledge that this guy is in control. But he has come to demonstrate that he's not always in control. No, absolutely. Sometimes I mean, his emotions can overtake. No, you know, you know, how, you know yeah. how it sounds to many That people. is so detrimental. Yeah, I mean, you I mean, don't I mean, understand. I mean, and it should never have happened. It, it, he should never have been put in that position because he's yeah, a human yeah, being. Yeah, of course. Right? It should never have happened. But the longer this committee continues, the more I wonder what else, what other bodily fluids people will come and secrete. Uh, because the point is that first, the chairman of the committee, at least just a day told us that, mm -hmm. the, the tape appears to have been ducted. Yeah. So the foundation upon which this committee is sitting is actually in doubt. I don't know what I mean. Yeah, the reason yeah. why I'm exactly. you know, so you know, went on a wild goose chase over a doctor tape. So we so have a tree bearing, you know, poisonous fruits, mm -hmm. and people still have people want to have time to go through this particular matter. And you see, I'll come back to my initial point that this is all about somebody scheming to win an election for somebody mm -hmm. in 2024. Yeah. Otherwise, how many members of the committee? I think seven. Mm -hmm. Even among them, they disagree. Yeah. As to mm. how to proceed, mm. I expected a committee members, as honourable as they are, to have addressed their, uh, their, their concerns behind the scenes before coming to sit in front of the camera. They should be, they should present a united front if they are so interested in getting to the bottom of it. Yet you see, chairman take a decision. The ranking says, "Oh, you can't gag me. You can't say that you have always somebody, and I cannot speak." What kind of a, 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 a comedy is this? Mm. That you want to get to the bottom of a matter? that threatens the national security of this country and yet amongst you you disagree because the interest here is about winning elections and nothing else if we did nothing poll, beyond that if we did a poll and ask the people bank of ghana new headquarters bank of ghana 60 billion new headquarters 60 billion then fantoche current state of the economy or any of the more recent matters which one would you want a committee yeah, to investigate? No, 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 even go, no, no, even, no, even go for the bank of Ghana. Even, even parliament itself. Yeah. Last week, I saw the members of the Public Accounts Committee mm -hmm. traveling from region to region. Yeah. Probing the content of the Auditor General and yes. then asking questions. Yes. Mm. Ask them, how many of their reports <laughs> have been debated on the floor of parliament and what has been the resolution? Mm -hmm. And the resolution that they've passed. What success in, in terms of success with how, how much have they achieved? They will tell you that they have tens of reports pending to be taken on the floor for them to pass on their resolution to the attorney general to prosecute or whoever. And we're talking about billions of CDs every year reported by the auditor general, which was that in borehole. But to wait in the hearing. I mean, so it tells you oh. it tells you the the, the the motivation behind all of this. Somebody thinks that somebody wants to steal their lesson. Another person thinks that I don't want to steal. So therefore, just open it. You must go be able to do it. Because we're 
to have an excuse to 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 to, to back on and say that this is the reason why I lost the elections. Mm. And you see, the problem with all of this is that it's opportunity cost, because money spent on one probe means money not spent on another. And it's even the time. Time. Yes. Time. Yes. Yes. At some point, somebody ought to be accountable to the people of this republic and ask, so what we're doing, in whose interest exactly. are we doing it? And consistently, the people who represent us, it's almost as if they put their interest first. So almost as if. Mugri Nabu said he sent the, 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 the first recording to who? The president. Who has the ultimate responsibility to effect changes within the police service? Oh, if he was so minded to do. If, he and didn't need who a has the entire investigative arms of this state under him? If the executive president wanted to probe this matter in 24 hours, get to the bottom of it, get to who is doing what, mm. sack police officers, he can do so, so easily. He didn't need a committee to advise him what to do. Ah. And yet what? Man hours every single day. We have people <laughs> coming to tell, coming to give us my story. When, when, when we went to primary school, those are the mm, things. Yeah. My biography. My story. It's sad. And look at look at look at what happened with with the, the interdiction and then the de the, the, the reverse or is it out addiction? <laughs> what well, I don't even know how, what the correct term is. But look at the ridiculousness of that. We, you see, we the expect... longer the thing goes on, yeah. the more people will be putting their foot wrong, their feet wrong, and things will just keep getting worse and worse and worse unless somebody nips it in the butt, puts a dam on it, and says, you know what? Uh, yeah, we this one. There's nothing we can. There's no outcome that we can have that will save the public so you know what let's wrap this up but they postponed to october is yeah. there no timeline on this were they not given a time by so which they should conclude i, I think they, they, they were given some few weeks now what is going to happen oh, is that they are virtual wow. they are almost exceeding the time that given by the yeah. speaker so i remember yesterday the chairman said i will have to go back to parliament to seek an extension mm. parliament is due to come mm. back in october on this which matter. means that this is a matter that's going to drag on and the, the committee and you see the thing about parliament is that I have appeared before a parliamentary committee before. Mm. Uh, I appeared before the Privileges Committee of Parliament mm. some time back. Mm. I had done a story on radio, I think when I was in Kumas Lab FM, and then a member had reported a matter to mm. the Privileges okay. Committee of Parliament. So yeah. I appeared before the committee. In fact, that was my first time. I didn't even know the rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Now, when we were done, a clerk came to us and said that we should present our hotel bills and everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for us to be paid. Mm -hmm. We didn't know. And say, oh, and I then, see. Exactly. So remember, this is what happened. So we, we gave them, said, no, 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 the figures we're giving us is far below how much we pay for a hotel for witnesses that we invite to appear before them. Mm. So they, they gave us more. I the, expect the actual money to be you spent. Exactly. Was far below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they had to you ask are me not meeting to meet the, the expenditure standard. Standard. threshold. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying this to put it in the broader context of. When Parliament sits and they invite people from the public to assist in it whatever they are money. doing, there are costs that goes into it. Yeah, and I, can, I can attest I mean, to that. Mm. Um, you remember when Professor Dodu came on my show That's true. and told people to, you know, yeah. only talk about what they. I know. get you. Yeah, we got called, and I, of course, I didn't want to go alone. I went with representation. Mm -hmm. We were all given lunch and yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. everything. So the cost is just huge. Mm -hmm. We are a country. We are saying that we don't have money. Yeah. We are struggling fact, to keep our heads an above IMF water. second tranche, we'll be in a lot of trouble. Of course. And yet, the we, have we, have, of 40 we are looking into a matter that the executive president would have done so without necessarily putting together a committee to deal with this. The national security minister was invited. He says mm. he can't disclose whatever they've done because a matter of national security is not being declassified for him to go into it. So, so Parliament, uh, when you say, yeah, don't they have anything to do? Are they not the same people who were almost unanimously pursuing the uh, the resignation of the uh, finance minister? Even that. Imagine. The, and, and then, then Agua Safu, who today is apologizing. What has yeah, come of yeah. it? The matter is hanging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that the woman stayed out of Parliament. We even counted a number of days. And that it didn't actually meet the timing of the mm. Parliament. She didn't have permission. They said, oh, we will sack her. Oh, we have to go through a committee. She didn't appear before the committee. No, we know that she was never yeah, there. She was never there. So they said they are going to present the report. Up to today, the people of Dominic Kwabinya have not been told no. why their member of parliament never represented them within the period that she was actually aware. Yeah. But their colleagues are very fine in their engagement that gossip ought to be properly interviewed yeah. and properly interrogated, properly reviewed with all the scientific methods and anatomy that's required in a way that if Kojo Yansi tomorrow says, Joy FM has three new tips on IGP and friends or, or COPs and friends 
sitting about who will still add it to their tears. Of course. They'll still investigate they'll it. Still investigate. They'll still get to the bottom of it. It's like but, they, they don't want it to end. Well, yeah. So where, 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 where are you getting to? Yeah. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. What will be the end game? Look, I'll tell you <laughs> why Adjoa Safo's matter has probably not been dealt with. Why you will never see them clamping down on mm. a member of parliament for not representing her constituents. It's because they themselves now, as you can see, they are not representing us. <laughs> so they can't really point fingers at each other. When the things they are doing there are not in our interest anyway. I get your I mean, point. Well, I mean, uh, let me not be blanket. Some of the things they do are certainly in our interest. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they actually carry out uh, tasks that are useful to the nation. Mm. But this one is not one of them. This committee's work is not one of them. And but, it's a pity because they ought to know the difference. Because at best, do, at they, best, do, do they do polls at Parliament? So one of the things that if you cannot have a, a scientific means of actually getting people's view on, because you can, you can do polls with your constituents. It influences a decision and direction. Then the House as a whole will now have a new system. Now they are polls in this country, hmm. which gauges public opinion. Yeah. Public opinion then influences your work. So that it is meaningful to the people that put you there. Mm, or else we will be, you have appointed somebody to do work for you. Mm. Let's say you have, let's say, your foreman. Yeah. Your foreman is building your house. He's building something else that you have no uh, use for. And yet, the man is still using your resources to do that kind of job. Please. At some point, even you, the man, say, please, stop this waste of my resources. But yeah. we don't have a say in there. No, we don't. They are, if not, we, they are not interested in public. If we unless match unless to the place. positive mm -hmm. public opinion. That's the point. <laughs> if we match the place and say, please, put your time to good use, will they listen? Hmm. Will they change their ways? So what kind of democracy is that you can control the people that you feed and pay for? Because personally, I think that, I mean, this, this matter could have, could have been handled by the Defense and Interior Committee. Ah. And the interesting thing about the members on this committee are, all, all, are also members of the Defense and Interior Committee. Yeah. So you didn't need this, uh, this important ad hoc committee to make it public yeah. whilst the committee could have done the same job they are asking yeah. this, this, this committee to do. So unless they want to tell us that the motive that we think they are espousing is what really is informing. But I'm sorry, there, there is evidence. I mean, there is evidence yeah. to back it. No, I mean, look at the selection of people on the committee. Honestly, if you really think that uh, a probe into the partisanship of the police is important, that means you don't think it's really right for the police to be, you know, partisan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you put Lanchini Tobu on your committee. And then also the member of parliament for yeah. fancy, uh, fancy yeah, man. We balance the skills for our police officers who are now partisan people it's fine they will tell but us the, the experience as but the point, the, point I'm make, the point i'm making is you don't put them up there for them to also then be the spotlight to also yeah. be put on them yeah, exactly because let's be fair <laughs> if you resign from the police service and two months later you are running for office that means you held at least you held a a party card mm. while wow, you were yeah, because yeah you can't just run yes. office anyway. you had a meeting with political parties yes. exactly what <laughs> <laughs> the things well, that yeah. you are accusing and seeking to probe you are no, equally no, guilty of in mean, fact you are a fruitful <laughs> usage of that system <laughs> no i mean it might sound funny but we are running a charade of a system and at some point we should get serious mm. we should get serious because we are not like the us we are not the uk they have their own problems mm. but they have money too to sometimes solve their problems we, we don't even have money to do the small things that we ought to do. You let's do a costing of some of the things they're likely to spend. And mm. ask ourselves, how many borrowers could you provide for a community? Oh. So that's what I say. Cost-benefit analysis is required here. Yeah. Especially when you're before an IMF grouping and you're begging every time to get more money to do your small things. Just today, I heard in the business news that those of you who did not apply who did not participate in the February uh, debt exchange. But there is another one coming. Yes, yeah. there's an incoming yes. debt exchange mm -hmm. that you may want there's to a, apply yourself to. There's yes. a limited yeah. debt exchange. Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's let's in, think that's about it deeply. You can take, take advantage yes. of that. Oh I mean, let's God. think about it deeply. All of these are the major problems we yeah. have on our hands. Let but me, we are not seeking solutions to those no, ones. We are not. Right. We yeah. are holding the entire state hostage. Because of our election. For this. That's what it means. Let me tell you the real opportunity for Raymond and Elton. Parliament constantly complains of being underfunded. Yeah. Parliament. So they can't do research. They can't, you know, these things you are talking about, polls, yeah, yes. and, you know, they can't hire staff to read these documents that they are supposed to approve. Mm. So they admit to us that they are approving things they don't read. Yeah. You have money. Instead of using it to at least mitigate that problem, you are spending it on 
tea and biscuits for people to come and sit and talk about what has been described as idle gossip. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy because, look, I always Have we ever had a parliamentary committee that's reviewing parliament and its future in Ghana to make it more responsive, to make us feel the democratic, the democratic dividends of having a parliament in place? to make us feel that our parliament ought to be of a 21st century nature, more representative, more scrutiny, playing its oversight role, giving at least some reasoning to Baron de Montesquieu's conception of separate uh, uh, what separation of powers of state. Mm. So sorry, I think it's now that we have it, had that's, parliament. That's, that's it, is now like that, it is now that the Speaker of Parliament is trying to do something like yes. that. Yes, now. Those yes. are the committees we need to sit every day for Parliament mm -hmm. to look at this work. With cameras. Yeah, because those ones, we, me, I'll say random. We all have ideas that will yes. fix and make the system better. Look, it's ironic. The two institutions, which if we could fix, if those two institutions could function, Ghana would transform in the fastest possible time. Parliament and the police. Yeah. And yeah. Parliament and the police. And look at them. They, they are working together to weaken each other. Yeah. We have two minutes to go. I need to wish some of the best. <coughs> because okay. I will hear your reactions to them. Mm. Alexis Ampofo says, oh, serious. They are serious. We are not serious one bit. Uh, Alexis Ampofo, a committee that has a mandate and a terms of reference, has gone into some fishing expedition. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, looking where they don't have to look. And uh, I'm welcoming uh, Professor Koko Asari, who's joined the, what they call it, uh, live. Prof, you're welcome. Uh, and leadership, uh, Agalikum, Kletu says, leadership of power corrupt absolute. Absolute power. Oh. Okay, so well, th th that's uh, his rewriting of Lord Acton. Right. But uh, Sogisan City says, our roads and bridges linking towns in Kwanta, South, OT region, are in a deplorable state. This one is more important than Kopti. Please tell the president to help us fix it. Oh, our crops are rotting in the farms. Oh. Can you believe that? Twenty first century. Our food is expensive. I was just complaining about uh, inflationary measures. Uh, shelled granite mm. for the last few months has consistently featured in the top ten contributors. Mm. Shelled yeah. granite. Yeah. Higher yeah. than There's also no dose. Can you believe that? And of course, dog meat. Yes, dog oh. meat too. Oh. <laughs> now, um, Citizen Achu says, "Oh, it looks like Mr. Yansen has already given up on Ghana." <laughs> oh, sorry, brothers. <laughs> uh, Ghana. We are living in a confused country that's the Gorabetinos led by confused people. And Alexis Ampofo says, okay, well, I mean, uh, nobody's inviting military, so let me move on to Felix <laughs> Yehua or him. And, yeah, we have wow. seen the military in this probably before, but uh, no. we Ghanaians are not ready to change mm. and do the needful. The media nature of our politics is the main reason for this mess. That's Felix. Simple interdiction, we cannot get it right. That's what you mentioned earlier on. Mm -hmm. And Citizen Atu says, Please, please, why are people behaving like you don't know the man uh, who is the president? <laughs> now, then he moved on to then say, well, three bullets. Yes, uh, <laughs> guys, you have started the debate. That's Felix Yabo or him, and just nail it. The problem is at the top. Who does not have any plan for the country? At the, is the, as the president, okay, look at the way we are going as if we did not call a spade a spade and call it big spoon. Mm. Then we must give up. Alfred Bondo said, we are captured, though simplicity mm. it is three o'clock i want final comments from you gentlemen mm. i mean this is one of the few instances where a committee starts its work not even in the throes of its work mm. but about a week or two people are so convinced that boss pack up eh? we know where you are going with this one we are just not interested in this part mm. we can all give you the same recommendations to the police nothing will change if the president wants to act on this report, it will be within minutes and yeah, hours. I mean, if the police you know, authority felt that people ought to be removed, they dealt with properly. They have structures. They, they really know how to go about it. They've done it to other people. Mm. And if we as a state want to get serious, there are ways we can deal with it. Just, just, just few words and I will, I will, I will yes. just end it. I mean, I mean we, we, we have said a lot. So the police council, after Alex Mensa and the three others appeared before the committee, mm -hmm. now, came to the realization that they need to act and so they interdicted them. Mm. But the tape had been in the public domain for weeks. Yes. yes. Some and of they saw nothing wrong with it. it. Yeah. Of it. They saw nothing wrong with mm. it. Mm. And yet once the person appeared before cameras, now oh, let, let's take it. And then yes, the next day they realized, oh, they're telling me like we don't we don't do them well. Come back to work until it's parliament true. finishes with work. I mean this it, it comes to the error. point that <laughs> clearly these guys are not set out to achieve anything meaningful to better the police administration or parliament. But to survive in power, 
or to give a reason why they are going to lose the next election. Basically. Hmm. And I think it's sad that we are spending so much money. We are putting pressure on the media with limited resources to now follow because we don't have any choice yeah. than to do whatever they, 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 the agenda that they, they have set up. Yeah. We need to call out our MPs from the speaker to the last member of parliament. Tell them that this is not what we need. Yeah. They've been voted for, they've been provided for. They need to work and hold the executive to be accountable. Public accounts committee, billions of cities who are running around the whole country, asking people why uh, they didn't account for this and that. What happens to your report? Zero. You have tens of reports pending to be taken on the floor for the recommendations to be followed. Tell me who has been prosecuted or who has paid back monitor that he has been identified to have uh, m- 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 misappropriated in their auditor general account. Zero. This is what we need. And not this charade ahead of 2024 unless somebody to you know, uh, you know, uh, be providing an excuse to reject and or accept it. Let's try it Even the IGP has not been removed. No. So the intention of the people that sat in the committee, you know, their own whole conversation has not yielded the name. No, results. zero. I said that we have some belief that he may use some results in the future. Mm-hmm. Or there's a tendency that the police would, by this committee's work, all of a sudden be aligned. They will lose all their partisanship. When we go to the so they become so neutral that we never had the person who uh, brought the matter to the attention of the speaker on the floor of parliament was emphatic mm-hmm. that the election 2024 is a stake. Yeah. Ah. And for that reason, we need to give confidence to the people with everything we fear and fear. That is basically the reason it. why we he are where we are. said it clearly. And then look, an other committee will be the one giving the confidence to the people that everything will be fair and fair. Imagine that. <laughs> look, look, look. The facts are simple. The longer this thing continues, the worse the situation will be. Every attempt to find more truth or to dig or to verify more tips will say, apart from wasting time, will actually worsen the situation. We've made the IGP cry. We've, we've, we've interdicted and outdicted people. Right? We've done all of this. We've you done all of this. We, 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 yeah. we, we haven't improved the situation. They say Parliament is a master of its own rules. Please, Parliament, don't become a master of your own doom. Don't do that. At least give people some hope that you are capable of representing us. So open your ears, listen to what people want, and represent them there. Solve our problems. Don't set questions for yourself that nobody has asked, and then spend our money attempting to answer them when you know you can't. Please, 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 please. This will not end well. So you end it fast. Hmm? You can't end it well. So end it fast. And let's move on. There are problems to be solved. I beg. A word to the wise. Anyway, our US office has been no wise is apologize for joining. So I'll encourage everybody to see <laughs> There you go. It never ends. No. <laughs> so you should continue to join this anyway. Anyway.